Okay, uh, let's switch up gears a little bit here, and um, I'd like to, to maybe talk about the migration cycles a little bit and what goes on within those um, experiences. Let's. Do you remember the spring 1996, um, the spring migration cycle coming up back north? Does that does that ring a bell? Well. My wintering ground that year had landed me in Georgia. And we all got a strong feeling from the electromagnetic fields of the Earth, which sometimes dictate the arrival of the breeding ground or migration cycle. So we left earlier that season, I remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, I mean, I'm no duck layman, but it sounds like what you just said really was is that y'all were horny. Uh, is that a correct in interpretation of, of what you just said? Correct. Okay, well, going off that point, can you tell me what happened when the formation reached uh, North Carolina? We had hit thunderstorms early in South Carolina, and they carried over into North Carolina. But it got too strong, and we decided to, to rest at a, a local marsh. Um, one of the ducks knew, um, knew some, some, some ducks out there, and we stopped there for the night. That's funny, because, you know, I... I I, I have some correspondence down in that area, and, and, and they happen to say that you didn't stay at a marsh with some other ducks, but it was actually a, a, um, a family of geese. Is that true? Absolutely not. It's, I don't know who your sources are, but I would never, um, Stay with the geese type. It's just not what I do. You're lying right through your bill, duck. My sources are solid. And in fact, my sources tell me that it was a brothel. It was a brothel of geese. Don't say geese type. We get it. They're a little promiscuous and you knew it. Now answer the question. Did you or did you not have an affair that night? These are absolutely preposterous claims and I really don't appreciate your tone right now. Don't talk to me about my tone! Just answer the question! Did you fuck a goose? <laughs>